After three years, the saga of the arrest and detention of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou has come to a close. That tense geopolitical standoff left Canada-China relations in shambles. Today, we're releasing the final episode of our CBC original podcast, Sanctioned, the Arrest of a Telecom Giant. Our Isabel Regem spoke with CBC reporter Jason Proctor last week about his experience covering that case. Jason, after following this for three years, what's your biggest takeaway from covering this case? Well, you know, to some degree, Isabel, it has to be how quickly it wound up. I mean, there was one day in September, September 24th, a Friday, everything just came to a shattering close with regards to the situation that a lot of people, I thought, think you know, thought could not be solved. So you have that. And then also, given how quickly it ended and, and the fact that it ended with a deferred prosecution agreement that Hmong reached with U.S. authorities, that many people thought, you know, could have happened at the beginning of this case. That's how these things normally wind up. So, you know, the big question you're kind of left with is, well, what was that all about? And could any of this been uh, avoided? And over the last three years, were you ever able to speak to Man Wanjo at all or anyone else to tie to Huawei? Well, no, I have never met uh, Meng Wanzhou. I've never spoken to her. I have stood outside her house. I followed her in and out of court. Uh, on one memorable occasion, we got a tip off about it, some pictures she was uh, staging uh, in anticipation of a court victory that never happened. And I hid in some bushes with the uh, uh, CBC photojournalist uh, to, to get pictures of that. But no, I've never spoken to her. I'd love to know what she thinks with regards to this. In terms of Huawei, it's interesting to note, you know, there were sort of a, a flotilla of of PR people and executives who came into uh, town and, and certainly contacted journalists. I met with many of these people. Um, you know, they always seem to suggest that, you know, they might have some insight into something or, you know, wanted to know what you thought of the case. But ultimately, nothing really came of that uh, for me for, for journalistic purposes. Jason, what would you say has been the biggest impact or impacts of this court case? You know, I mean, in terms of Canada-China relations, I think this, who, who knows where it goes from here, it certainly set our relationship with China back uh, a great deal. Now we've seen the release of uh, Michael Korvrig and Michael Spavor, the two Canadians who were detained just after Meng Wanzhou's arrest, in what many people, you know, considered to be hostage diplomacy. And certainly China did nothing to kind of, you know, uh, lead anybody not to think that was the case by releasing them at the exact same moment uh, that they uh, that, that Meng Wanzhou got on a plane to go back to China. So who knows where that goes in, in terms of our relationship. Was this like any other court case, you know, when you do go in a courtroom, sometimes it can be kind of the same thing at the beginning and, and you don't realize the magnitude until you're, you're stepping out of the court uh, room. Was that like that or could you feel the intensity within the courtroom as well? Was it different? How would you compare to other court cases you know it's interesting I mean what was amazing for me just personally was that to, to cover it from beginning to end you rarely as you know get to do that uh, as, as a journalist in terms of the stakes it's interesting at the very first uh, proceeding before media were even there um, I've listened to the tapes of it at which uh, Meng Wanzhou's lawyer at that time talked about you know basically what he said was going to be an orgy of speculation once people found out she'd been arrested that came to pass so you had the sense of the significance at, at that point but also I just found this so fascinating because it placed Vancouver and Canada right in the middle of this global battle between superpowers that you know many people would say is going to define the the you know the next decade or so in terms of, of the conflict between China and the, Uni and the United States. The final episode of the podcast sanctioned is now out. Uh, what do you cover in this uh, last installment of the series? Well, you know, essentially we take people through this extraordinary last day. And again, it's kind of hard to, to overemphasize how shocking everything was. Things moving from the States to Vancouver, to Vancouver's airport, to China, to Ottawa. It was just, you know, like uh, every hour something new happened and it brought this amazing thing to a close and we also wanted to give people a, a moment to reflect on what it all meant we've done 12 episodes of this podcast prior to this uh so you know it certainly was nice to kind of put a cap on it um and and just 
ultimately to go, well, well, what was that all about? Thank you so much. Jason Proctor is a CBC reporter and the creator and writer of the CBC original podcast, Sanctioned, the arrest of a telecom giant. The final episode is available for listening on the CBC Listen app or wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks so much, Jason. Thank you.